we begin this evening with a debate over a future location for a controversial police precinct in Minneapolis. The third precinct has stood empty since protesters destroyed it in May of 2020 following the murder of George Floyd. Before that space is potentially filled again, some neighbors are pleading for a pause. The city of Minneapolis is proposing two options, rebuild the third precinct where it once stood or move it to a city owned lot a few blocks away. As our Barrett Leon explains, some neighbors are not happy with either option. Barbed wires, shuttered windows and rubble. A stark reminder of what happened here nearly three years ago. So we have a moment now to change that narrative, to do something different. Something different from the two choices Minneapolis city leaders are proposing. It turned into an either or and not an open conversation. It's why some neighbors, business owners and community partners are pushing back. Without knowing what goes on within, how can we make a choice of where it should go? Um, this is a recipe for a repeat of mistrust and the fear-based divisions in the years ahead. In a statement to WCCO, the city states that it's making an intentional effort to hear from the people who live in, work in, and visit the precinct area on where they would like to have a new precinct building. Neighbors say it's not enough. The community members of the third precinct are traumatized. Last month, I saw a room full of business owners in tears because the city is pushing forward a return to the status quo without any attempt at building trust and addressing the community's trauma. Backed up by Minneapolis Councilwoman Robin Wansley, the group is asking the city to pause and engage. And the city of Minneapolis cannot afford to get this wrong. And moving forward, with either option would be doing exactly that. That would be us getting it wrong and doubling down on the system that led to the murder of George Floyd in the first place. In Minneapolis, Barrett Leone, WCCO News. The city has hosted several community meetings since its proposal, along with a survey asking where the new precinct should go. One survey showed 75% opposed the police station returning to the third precinct location. Minneapolis plans to release its findings in June.